Jeff Jude and Stephen Bowler, Pastor John uh, Butler. Nice. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. We are here tonight in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for allowing us this chance and this an opportunity to be back to this place to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. We are grateful to God for what the Lord uh, is doing, have done, and will and can do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for all the baptized believers everywhere, those that have a mind to want to do those things that are pleasing in the sight of the Lord. We're glad for all of you that are here present in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and how that the Lord had made it possible for us to be here. Well, tonight we are supposed to be uh, in Delaware and in other places, which we will be, if the Lord's will, once we get tuned in on uh, Zoom. And we look forward to uh, the service in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is uh, Pastor Collins' 22nd uh, anniversary. And he asked me to, would I speak? So we'll have this privilege and this chance and this opportunity. But we just thank God for you all being here. Yes, so Glad thank you all are here. We thank God for faithful few, you yeah. know, and, you know, we just thank God that we have a mind and have a desire to do what is right according to the word of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We just thank God for, for keeping us in these last dark and evil days, knowing that we are living as the scripture have described in the last dark and evil days. We get the uh, scripture, we'll, we'll get started until they Zoom us in yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we just thank God for, for that. And we'll be ready whenever that, that time comes to um, be zoomed in, and it'll be, I don't know who all will be watching, but it'll be a lot of, a lot of different people, a lot of different areas in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we were asked to uh, sing a couple of songs, and we just thank God for uh, those that are here to, to sing, and, you know, and I just thank God, thank God for the Lord and blessing all oh, oh, my grandchildren. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Right, right, right. Well, the Lord knows, God, we thank God for that, and we just pray that God will ever bless according to his eternal will, knowing that it is God will that we live holy. Get the uh, first chapter of uh, Romans, beginning at verse 26. We just we thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we yeah. just thank God for all things. Thank, one thing about it, you know, we want to stay, stay faithful. Stay faithful unto the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. Stay faithful unto the Lord. Because that's once once we get started tonight, that's what the theme is yes. for uh, what Pastor Collins uh, said that the theme would be uh, stay faithful, and the word he used was uh, simplify, uh, simplify. So we thank God for for that in the name of Jesus Christ. That's always always stay faithful. Always stay. faithful. We're gonna get started tonight. Just touch a few verses here in first uh, in that scripture, Rick. Romans one and verse twenty-six. That's yes, right. But this cause God gave them up unto vile affection. Wow. God gave them up. We begin at verse eighteen. One eighteen. One eighteen. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Is, is, is this mic on? Is the mic on? Yes, okay. You get as close as you can. So we, we don't want to be able to hear you real good. All right, go ahead, Rick. Amen. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against yes. all ungodliness. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven unto all ungodliness. Against all ungodliness. Against all ungodliness. 
and an unrighteousness of men. And regardless to what goes on, God's wrath is revealed from heaven to all ungodliness and the wrath of men. Who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Uh-huh. Because that which, when they knew, God, knew, knew of, known of God, because that which may be known of God, that which may be known of God, is manifested in them. Is manifested in them. For God hath shown it unto them. Yes. For the invisible things of his, of him, from the creation of the world, are clearly seen. Clearly seen. Being understood by, by the things that are made. Uh-huh. Even the eternal power and Godhead. Even the eternal power and Godhead. So that they are without excuse. And, and uh, don't know, let me tell you something. Regardless of what goes on in life, man don't have no excuse. It, you know, one scripture says, Thou art unexcusable, old man. Yeah. Whosoever thou art. Man, man don't have an excuse. Because yeah. all excuses have been nailed to the cross. Yeah. Don't have to worry about what excuse can you give the Lord? You know, came, died, said, look, what excuse can we give you? Yeah. What is that? So, so that they are without excuse. So they're without excuse. Because that when they knew God. Because that when they knew God. They glorified him not as God. So we got to glorify him. When you know it, glorify him. When you, you know, know it, glorify him. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Go ahead. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Yes. Neither were thankful. They, see that? They didn't glorify him. Neither were they thankful. But became vain in their imagination. Then people of imagination became vain of no profit. Go ahead. And their foolish heart was darkened. Then their foolish heart, God say you got a foolish heart, was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. See, that's what's happening in the world today. Men think they're so smart, so wise. But man is, is really in the sight of God foolish. Because the scripture is the way we seem right to a man. Ways that, the end thereof is the ways of death. Amen. Is that right? Amen. So man's ways are foolish. Amen. What he said. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like, a, like the corruptible men. Yes. And birds. Birds. And, and four footed beasts. Four footed beasts. And creeping things. Uh huh. Wherefore God also gave them up unto uncleanliness. Well, but see what God did? Man is doing all kinds of things. You hear people saying, uh, listen to a talk show, and they said the man that have a daughter, uh, because he wouldn't address her as a him or he, they put this man in jail. Lord Jesus. They put this man. <laughs> His man is there because he wanted his biological daughter, he will not address her as a him and up in Canada. And they are now putting that man in jail because of that. Lord Jesus. You know, there are things that's going on in the world today that we're gonna to have to be able to stand and be able to do be together because they got something now it's called uh equi uh e Equality, yes. Mm -hmm. Equality of life, you know. When you want to, everything is just a quality of life to have it just like we want it. All, no problem. And, and let everything be. But we as the people got to take a stand. Amen. You know, we, and it's coming to that point to where if it's a guy and he want to be a lady, a trans, you got to, <laughs> you got to pr pronounce his name. If his name was, Tyrone, and he want to be called Trinity now. You, they, they say according to law, you got to do that. But there is what they, what God made them. Amen. You can't change what God. One scripture say, change the truth of God into a lie. Amen. Is that right? But these things are happening. These things are happening in the world. That's why we as the people got to stick together, pray together, have a design of mind to want to live and do like God say. And we hope and pray that young people will ever keep a mind to want to look to the Lord and do that which is pleasing in the sight of the Lord because it's getting closer and closer to those times to where people will put you in jail because I call him a her. And she, he's really a her. Or him or whatever the case is. 
whatever the case is. So we got to teach our children and hope and pray that they will have a mind and desire to do what's right inside of God. Read the book, Jim. Wherefore well, God also gave them up to uncleanliness. God gave them up to uncleanliness. Through the lust of their own heart. Well, through the lust of their He gave them up to uncleanliness. He gave them up to that. That's what they want to be. Once you say God sent them a strong illusion, make them believe a lie that they all may be damned. Lord Jesus. God has sent you a delusion. You want to be that way? God has sent you a delusion and make you believe something that's not so that you will go to hell. Ain't that something? You might say, well, God, I thought he was a loving kind. He is loving kind. But he's a terrible God, too. Is that right? Yes, sir. He's terrible, too. God don't, just, God don't have to put up with us. With the things that we want to do in our flesh. Amen. And that's what it boils down to. It's the desire of the flesh that we have to deal with. Is that right? Amen. What he said? Well, for God also gave them unto uncleanliness. Uh -huh. Through the lust of their own heart. Through the lust of their own heart. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. You know they say who changed the truth of God into a lie. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Uh oh, the creature. Worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Uh-huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Well, you know, we, we, you know, we're always talking about this, and you know, it, it gets to a point where people don't want you to say things about it, but it's the truth. We see these things being fulfilled in our eyes. Yeah. We, I mean, we see it. Yeah. We yeah. see it. I don't care if it's yeah. a movie star. I don't care what star they say it is. It don't matter. But these things, it goes to show us. That the scriptures is real. The scriptures yes, yes, yes. is fulfilling yes. right before our eyes. Yes, yes. We gonna see these things. That's why we we as the people got to pray more, be more close to God. Know how Christ is in you. Is that right? Yes. Know how Christ is in you. All right, go ahead. But this cause God gave them up to vile affection. God gave them up to vile affection. Even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Yes. And likewise also the men. They said, you know, we always talk about it, but see, these are things that got to be preached in the churches, got to be talked about in places where you go. People got to know these kind of things. Right. They think it's all right just because I, you know, my son want to be this or my daughter want to be that and it's all right. Then I can't tell them that's not the way God made you. That's not the way you're supposed to be. You shouldn't take these hormones. You shouldn't do this because eventually what happens when you when your mind do get right and you want to have a, a, a son and you want to have a daughter, now you can't because you done got yourself messed up. Now you got that mental deal, thing to deal with within your mind. Huh? All these surgeries and all these hormones people taking and all this stuff. And I'm talking about this child like 14 years old. Come on, man. Yeah. Jesus. What he said. And likewise, also the men. Also the men. Even the natural use of the woman. Well, listen, you hear the scripture talking on the scripture saying plain. Yes, leaving, leaving yeah. the natural use of the woman. Don't you know God knew what he was doing? He knew what he was doing to make a woman. Amen. A man can't be no woman. Oh, sir. He don't have that mindset. Amen. See, a woman mind and a man's mind is different. They got different minds. Amen. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's why God, that's why God made man and man. A woman. Amen. They're different. Amen. They're different. Amen. Is that right? Yes, sir. I mean, you, you just see how how precious they are to be able to bear children. Jesus. And then the man, he got him as a as a as a seed planter, or, you know. Amen. He that, that he he that he that farmer, you know, he Amen. plant them seed. Amen. And that woman, she's at the earth, she produce it and bring it forth. Amen. Can't no man do that. Yes, Is that right? Amen, sir. But it's it going against what God said. 
What did he say? Likewise also the men, even the natural use of the woman, uh -huh. burn in their lust one toward burn another. Burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men it, working that with the unseen. It's in the Bible, right? Amen. Yes, Amen. <laughs> We see these things. We see these things, and, and, and we don't. We don't. I, it, it ain't nothing that I justify. Or we feel good about it. Ain't nothing funny about it. Ain't nothing good about it. It's all wicked and abominations. Yes, but that's what we are. That's why the scripture said, "This will also in the last days perilous times shall come." We living in perilous times now. Amen. We got to really know who the Lord is. We got to pray. We got to see God for His Spirit yes. and desire because it's all around us. Yes. It's all around us. It's in places you wouldn't even think. Amen. It's in people that you wouldn't even think. Amen. It's everywhere. Yes, what is that? Men with men working that which is unseemly, uh -huh. and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, yes. which was meat. Which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their mind. Oh, now listen, here it is. Because they did not like to retain God. See, they didn't want to retain. See, they don't want to hold on to God. They don't want to hold on to the thing of God. They did not like to retain God. They don't want to. They don't want to hold God in their knowledge. Yes, they don't want to retain that. Amen. See, when you don't want to retain something, you want to get rid of it. Is that right? Yes, sir. But they say they would not like to retain God yes. in their knowledge. And even as they did not like even, to retain God in their knowledge, even as they did not. Listen, how you say, even as they did not like to. Mm. Ain't that something? Amen. Did not like to. That people don't want to, you know, you ever talk to some people, you know, you, you know, I've talked to people, you know, I've talked to people, you know, you know, they're, they're gay, and I, I said, why you shouldn't be doing that? You know, you, be a, you can be a young lady, you can be a young man. I don't want to hear what you got to say. People be telling me that. That's somebody don't want to retain. They, you know, tell them about how you, they don't want to retain God in their knowledge. So what God do? Give them up. Give them up. But see, somebody's going to try to help you yes. throwing out the lifeline yes. and you don't want it. Yes. Let me drown. Yes. I know what I'm doing. Yes. That's the kind of world we live in, you all. Yes. What the scripture says. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, what did God do? God gave them over to a re reprobate mind. God gave them over to that. See what God did. The only because they didn't want to retain it in their knowledge. They didn't want to retain it. They didn't want to hold. They didn't want that what was given to them that God is trying to help. They didn't want to retain it. So by them, see that. See, I'm tell you, God is a good God because he he'll, he'll bring something to you, and that's why people say, "God, God is a loving God. God is doing this and that. God be trying your heart." See, God already know your heart. So if, if once you say you don't want something, God know really that you don't want it. Amen. He know if you're unsure. But some people, they don't want to retain God. They don't want God now. God give them over. Amen. He just give you over to that. Amen. To what? What did he give them over to? Even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobated mind. God gave them over. To a reprobated mind. To do those things which are not convenient. To do those things which are. <laughs> Ain't that something? Yeah, that's pretty simple. You know, it's kind of, you know, straightforward. straightforward. Yes, sir. You're doing something that's not convenient. Yeah. It's like somebody tells you, somebody tell you, you're doing something that's not, that's not healthy for you. Yeah. That's not good for you. It's not convenient. But they do the thing was not convenient. Yeah. And what else? Being filled with all unrighteousness. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Fornication. Oh, he yeah. fornication. Wickedness. Wickedness. Covetousness. Covetousness. Maliciousness. Maliciousness. Full of envy. Full of envy. Murder. Murder. Debate. Debate. Deceit. 
deceit, like malignity, malignity, whispers, yes, yeah. backbiters. Ooh, they full of all that. Haters of God. Haters of who? Haters of God. See, we at a point in time in life now. Really, people don't, people more than they sell anything about God, people more than they sell what they're doing. I mean, the fear of God, honestly, yeah. saints and friends, the fear of God is being eliminated, is evaporated from the thoughts and the hearts of men today. Yeah, that's what I see. He's not even in their thoughts and in their minds. They feel as though we just. We just want to do what we want to do, like we want to do, when we want to do it, long as we want to do it, how we want to do it. So God, God, the fear of God is just being depleted, just, just slowly, slowly, slowly moving away. And they put their trust in the, the creature more than the creator. Saints, let us, let us not get that way. Keep God before you. Keep the fear of God in your mind. Ask God to help you. You see yourself get to a point of where you slack. But you know what God said this. He said that, that if the days weren't short, that would no flesh be saved. So this thing can get tough. So we got to be careful as a people. Not let our minds just say, you know, just wander off into nothing. Keep the fear of God in your mind and heart. Amen. Always keep God in your mind and your heart. Yes, sir. Amen. All right. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, uh -huh. wickedness, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, maliciousness, full of envy, full of envy, murder, murder, murder debate, debate, deceit, deceit, like malignity, malignity, whispers. Whisper. Like miners. Wait, this something. Haters of God. Ooh. Despiteful. The ain't this something? Proud. Lord Jesus. Boasters. Boast. Inventors of evil things. Inventors of evil things. things. Disobedient to parents. This children be obedient. Without understanding. Without understanding. Covenant breakers. Covenant breakers. Without natural affection. Without natural affection. In, in, in placeable. Implaceable, unmerciful, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God. All right, listen to what he said. Who know the who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things, they which commit such things are worthy of death. Hear what God say? <laughs> so God can kill you at any time. Worthy, because because you, you you worthy of death. Yes. You, you mean to tell me that what you're doing is so bad until it's worthy of death? Worthy Jesus. of death. It's, it's worthy. You know how people are so bad until a long time ago they get an electric chair? Worthy of death. Huh? Worthy of death. Ain't that something? Amen. Lord Jesus, go ahead. Amen. That they which commit such things are worthy of worthy death. Worthy of death. Not only do the same. Uh oh. Not only do the same. But have pleasure in them that do them. Have pleasure in them that do it. You don't even have no pleasure in somebody doing such stuff as that. That's right. No kind of pleasure. You know, is that all right? Yes, sir. And so you just can't go along with it. Amen. Just can't go along with those kind of things. Is that all right? Amen. All right, is that anyone? All right, we thank God. We thank God for all things in the name of Jesus Christ. We just thank God for his word. Um, Lord bless. I don't know if we, we may have time to might dive into some more of it, some of the same thing once we get in, 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 in the Zoom. But we're going to just let the Lord have his way. And we just thank God for getting set up in the name of the Lord.